Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So this is a special request to do this Mickey Mouse at 30 inches. And I brought him in just so that we have a, a visual marker of what he looks like, but I'll show you how to get the image. So what you wanna do is you wanna go into images. It's a design space image, so it's cool. Everyone can actually follow along and do all the cuts like I'm going to do, but you don't have to pay for it. You only pay for it if you actually go to make it. So you can mess around with this and then delete it if you want to, just to make sure you don't get charged. But you won't, you'll know that you'll get charged because you actually have to click okay to it. So don't worry about that. Let's go into images. Um, I already typed in the actual image number. So it's the pound sign MD65BFCE. The way you find these images is when you see a bunch of them, you click on the eye. The eye will tell you the actual title, so it's Mickey Mouse standing, and then the image number so that you can find any of these images, okay? And it's $1.99. If you have Cricut access, which I do, you then get 50% off of this, so it would be a dollar to purchase this image, okay? All right, so let's cancel out of it. Oh, no, wait, sorry. I do want this guy. Um, oops. So this is all of Mickey Mouse, but let's go back to, oh, darn it. Did I just lose it? I think it was this one, right? Yeah, Mickey Mouse standing. So this is the guy that I want. So in here, you would click on the I so that you could see the title and the image number, okay? But I want this one so it's highlighted. I'm gonna insert the image. So this guy is my, I flattened it. So it's a cut and print. So it's just one layer. I'm putting him there so that he's my visual marker of what's going on, okay? This guy, let's go and make him 30 inches. Now, I saw this image maybe about a minute before I hit start recording. And what, <laughs> what's different about this one, I'm, I'm gonna try something, something new. Um, normally, the black background, it is a background, right? So that's the one that we slice up into a million pieces. Um, well, usually like eight, eight to 12 pieces, right? And then we put it back together, it's our background. And then all the other colored pieces sit on top so it helps hide the seams. The only problem is when you have characters where black plays a major role, like in this case, or in Snow White with her hair, or Jasmine with her hair, is um, then you're gonna have a lot of seams because, because it's so prominent and it's the background, you know it's 30 inches. There's not that much we can do about it. Normally, I would recommend doing black glitter cardstock, and that's gonna help you hide the seams really, really, really well. Um, now, if you didn't want Mickey Mouse to be so glitter glittery though, um, then we have to treat the black as another color, like we would with the red or the gold shoes. So I'm gonna try to do that today um, because I feel like there's a lot of black going on, okay? so. This white layer, I'm not sure why it's even there. Normally I would just delete it. But this white layer, we're gonna change it to black. And so we're still gonna have his black outlined, but we're gonna treat like his ears and the face right here as a piece of black. So as a different color, okay? So this is something new. I'm gonna go with it, okay? So follow along. We're trying to make him as seamless as possible um, without using black glitter cardstock. All right, I hope I didn't lose anybody there. So this is how we're gonna do it. We already made him 30 inches, right? We are now gonna slice out every color out of the black, okay? So one at a time, let's do the black. So I've highlighted the black here. Hit your shift key, let's do the face. So you grab the face, you can see these two things are highlighted right here. It's a darker gray and slice. Then we're gonna grab the black again, and this time we're gonna go with the white, hit the shift and the white, and slice. And we're just gonna keep going. We're gonna grab the black again, and we can see we have a few more pieces left. We're gonna grab the gold shoes, so shift, gold shoes, and slice. Then we're gonna grab the, bl the black again, and with the red shorts, and slice. Then the black again with the last remaining thing is the lips or the tongue. Hit shift, tongue, slice. Now, because we know he's 30 inches, let's delete everything except for this black, okay? So grab that, hit the shift key, this, the 
tongue, the slice results. We're deleting everything, okay? Except for the flattened, the cut and print, okay? So let's just hit the delete button. Okay. What we want to do here is basically we want to create a break like right here and right here. So that way this piece, his ears and his head will be an isolated piece, okay? So what I mean by that is let's go and let's bring in the circle <clears throat> and we're going to make it really, really small, okay? Like that. And we're gonna put it right here because we want to break here and let's duplicate it. We're gonna also want it right here. And I'm gonna zoom in so you can see what that looks like. This is gonna be a lot of work, but it's gonna make our project seamless, okay? I'm gonna do it like right here. And we're gonna need a lot of these pieces. So I'm just gonna duplicate it real quick. Put it over here. Let's look at this again. Okay. All right, you ready? We're going to grab this piece and the black and we're going to slice it. Okay, and then we're going to grab this piece. Oops, hold on. Is it this piece? No, this piece. There. This piece and the black and we're going to slice it. Okay, so I'm going to pull apart this piece, okay? So do you see how there's a break in it right now? So let's get rid of these pieces over here so we're not confused by it. Oops. Hit the back arrow, sorry. I deleted my Mickey image as well. Um, what happened? Oh, oh shoot, did it, okay. So I'm gonna move this over. Oh, it didn't delete the next one. Okay, sorry. I hit the back too many times. So let's grab this piece again. Um, well, you might not have to do it because you didn't overdo it. <laughs> grab the black image and slice. So we're gonna go back to where we were just a second ago. All right, so you see the break here and the break here, right? So let me move it out of the way. Let me grab these two items there and delete that. Okay, so let me zoom out for a second. This is gonna be a lot of work, but I'm gonna show you what it looks like here. Okay, so let's duplicate this for a second. We're gonna go to contour because we wanna separate out that head, okay? So I am going to do hide all and that's gonna give me, I want this piece and I don't want this piece. So see, now we have this and it'll be seamless because it's gonna end right here and right here and the face is gonna be next to it, all right? So now we have this piece. We need to continue doing it for all our black areas. Not the black background though, like these little thin areas, the outline, we're gonna have that because we're gonna do that with the black background like we normally do. But any piece that is majorly black, like the legs and the body, and um, we don't need to do the mouth and the eyes, but we need to do the nose, okay? So the nose we need to do, the upper body and the legs, and the tail, okay? So we have this little piece. Let's go and let's do the rest of this, okay? So we need to do a break right here. We're isolating, oh, it's a lot of work. Okay, let's do the nose. Let's do a break here and a break here. That will isolate the nose, right? So let's zoom in for a second. Let's duplicate this little thing because we're gonna need it a few times. All right, so let's go over here. Let's grab this and turn it and get all the way to the edge of the nose. 
Do you see right there? That's like a perfect cut. Okay, so we'll grab these two things and we'll slice it. And then we'll grab this one. We'll turn it a little bit this way. Oops. Let's bring that to the front. Arrange, send to the front. That way we can move it down a little bit. Okay. And you know what, I, I think I'm gonna do this video two ways. I'm gonna do it this way. This is the ultimate seamless, this is, if you wanna make it look as professional as possible, this is the method, okay? Um, so let me see, oops, I grabbed too many items. Let's grab this and the black and slice. I'm gonna do another way where I'm gonna assume that you're doing it with black glitter cardstock, okay? That way you guys have two ways to compare it and you can see which method you wanna do. All right, so let's move him out of the way. You see now the nose is isolated, right? So when the nose is isolated, we can go to contour and let's get rid of, hold on, let me move this for a second. Let's get rid of these pieces because this is already a lot of pieces. I really don't want to confuse um, all of us with those extra pieces, okay? So now when we're isolating, we want this by itself, right? So let's duplicate it. So in this copy, we're gonna take out that nose, okay? So let's contour. And to easily isolate that, hide all. It will hide everything but this top image, okay? Let's go get our nose. So we want the nose, and we wanna deselect this piece, okay? So now look, there's our nose. It's like a perfect piece that has no seams in it, right? So it's gonna go over here. So try to imagine, I mean, right now, this is gonna be seamless, this is gonna be seamless. The face is gonna be seamless in that you know nice color. So everything is gonna be seamless. The only, where, the only place you're gonna see the seams is when we do the black background. And the black background at that point is gonna, it's so thin, you're really not gonna notice it, okay? All right, let's look at this again. So now we need to isolate the arm, the upper body and the legs, right? I feel like the t and the tail. The tail is going to be the easiest thing to do. So let's grab this and duplicate it a few times because that's our little marker to slice everything out, right? Okay, so let's bring it down and let's put it right here. Now the tail might be too long. I didn't look at the measurements of the tail yet. So we want to do it there. So let's grab these two things and slice. And then we can actually use this piece right here and go over here and put it up against this thing there. And I think we can do this. Let's go over here from down below, grab the two items and slice. Okay, let's move this over and you see now the tail is isolated, right? So again, let's duplicate it because our duplicate image, we're gonna get just the tail, okay? So let's go to contour. You're gonna click hide all. And we want the tail, we don't want the top image. So here's our tail. Our tail is a little long at 12.7 by nine, but let's twist this a little bit and see if we can get it. Ah, yes, he's gonna be seamless. So the way Design Space measures width and height is it always just takes the most far left and compare it to the most far right. So the most far left is this piece here and to here. Then that measurement is 10.89. So let me undo this for a second. This was originally the tail the way it was, right? So the most far left is all the way over here and the most far right is all the way over here. It's actually 12.7 inches long or wide. Okay, the same tail because we're not changing the we're not changing the actual um, dimensions of it. We're just twisting it. By twisting it, we've changed how Design Space measures measures it. So now it's not as long, right? It's only ten point five wide and eleven point two long which means now it falls in the perimeters of 12 point, or 11.5 by 11.5, so we can cut this on one sheet of paper. 
So you see like, it's so funny. I didn't know that for the longest time. So I would have sliced this in half, but you don't need to. Just make, see if you have room to rotate it a little bit so that it can recalculate from the most left to the most right and the, the most um, high point to the most low point is how it does its measurements. All right, so now the tail is seamless. Yay, <laughs> that's such a big piece. All right, let's grab this guy over here and let's isolate this leg, right? So the leg is already isolated here, which is great. Now we just need this piece over here. And you probably were wondering why earlier I went from the bottom up because my cursor is only grabbing two items. It's grabbing this little um, piece that we're slicing it with, with the black image. Had I gone from over here, oops, what just happened? Okay, see how this was in here? If I do this, I'm grabbing too many pieces. So you see slicing is not available. So even though I'm not moving these pieces, as long as my cursor's not touching it, then I only grab two items and I can slice. So that's kind of why I went from this way because I didn't move the tail piece, if you remember that. Okay, so I'm gonna move that out. And let's see, so that isolates that. We need to isolate it here. So I'm using the same piece, but I'm using the bottom. You see that? I'm getting that, okay? So I'm gonna do it again, but I'm not gonna go far up because I have that extra piece there, okay? So I'm gonna slice it there. And then we need to slice it one more place right here. So I'm gonna grab this little guy. I'm gonna use the same piece still and I'm going to do that, okay? So I'm gonna go over here, grab just the two pieces and slice. Okay, I'm gonna move it all the way over. So now you see, did I not slice it enough? I thought I got it right there. I didn't slice it enough, okay. Well, let's get rid of these things right here for now. Let's delete that. Did I delete it? Oh no, okay. I need to cut this a little bit more right there because that's a break right there, a break right there, and a break right there. I need to break it right there. I thought I did, but I guess I didn't. So let's go up here and grab this little guy. those two things and slice. So now I have that break, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna duplicate this because in our duplicate, we're gonna isolate out that leg. So let's go to contour and let's hide all once it pops up. And then we want this leg right here. We wanna deselect this. So now look, we have this perfect little leg, okay? <laughs> I know this is a lot of work, but this is what's gonna get you the seamless um, Mickey. So let me grab this, let's delete this. And we're almost there, we have one more leg. So I don't know if you need to see me do this leg and this arm. Um, okay, you know what, I'm not gonna do this leg. The leg you would do a seam right here, you would isolate it here, 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 and here, okay? That will isolate out this leg. I'm gonna do the arm because I feel like this is a little bit harder. We already have it isolated here. You would need to do it, this is okay because it's all connected. You would need to do it here, at the glove here, at the glove here, right here and right here, right here, here and here. That would be it. I don't know if you need to see me do all of that. That's just a lot of the same steps, okay? I'm gonna assume that you're comfortable because we did it with all the other pieces, okay? You basically want to create, let's look at this head again. You need to, um, create that break 
so that you can isolate this piece by itself. And remember, we did the same thing with the nose. So when we're looking at this upper body, wherever it's attached to an outline, you need to cause a break. So we're causing a break here, here, and here, and here. Does that make sense? And then again here, and maybe even, yeah, here. Um, that's all actually okay. Here, 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 and here. Okay. I feel good about you guys being able to do that because we've done a lot of them already. So now, once you've isolated all your pieces, we're gonna delete this, okay? Now we're gonna bring it in again. So let's go to images. We want this guy again, insert. This time, we wanna isolate all the other pieces, right? So let's make him 30 inches. Now, what do we need? We don't need the white, so you can select it and delete it. Um, and that's it because we just need to slice up the black background and let's see how big all these other pieces are. So let's ungroup it. So here are the gloves. So we're going to need to isolate the gloves and the eyes. Let's look at the face. The face is perfect, but we want to make sure We'll talk about the face in a second, okay? So here's the tongue. Tongue is good, obviously. <laughs> here's the red. The red is good too. It's 7.6 by 8.5, so it's good. Everything is gonna be seamless. It's gonna look amazing. Let's look at the shoes. The shoes are even perfect as is, 11 by 6.8. Okay, so let's look at, I'm gonna um, zoom out for a second. We have the gloves that we need to deal with, and then we always do the same thing with the face. So I'm gonna do that again with this. So we'll talk about that in just a second. Let's bring in a square, and we're gonna slice out these pieces so that, um, because right now we can't cut it as is. It's 12.5 by 13.7, right? But we can easily break this up into pieces that we can cut. So I'm isolating the glove and one button, okay? So I'm gonna grab the white and the square, and we're gonna slice it. Then we're going to bring down the eyes using the same piece, okay? We're gonna put the eyes in the corner right here and we're gonna grab the bottom half of this square and the white and slice. So now we have the white and three pieces that we can cut on our Cricut, okay? We can get rid of the slice results. So you can grab that and delete. So here's one piece, 5.5 by 4.7. This one's also cuttable if you wanna do that. You can go a step further and isolate, you know, separate these two if you wanted to, okay? But this is already a lot of pieces. I'm gonna let a slide on this, okay? We'll group these in two. Now the white is in pieces that we can cut on the Cricut, okay? Um, let's get rid of this. We don't need these two tally pieces. All right. So here's the face. I'm gonna zoom in for a second, okay? Now the face, I always like to duplicate the face and I like to make it in black, right? Because in case there are seams running through the eyes and the mouth, we it will be seamless because we're gonna make this black. We're gonna contour it, hide all for a second. We're gonna change it to black. Now. It covered up this eye, right? So if there was a seam running through, we're gonna have this, I'm gonna arrange center to the front. We're gonna have this piece sit on top of this black piece. So if there was a seam running through the eyes, it will now be covered by this extra piece. But we have a problem with the mouth because it's not enclosed and this eye, it's not enclosed. So we'll, make, we'll enclose it right now, bring in a circle it's gonna be very, very easy. It's the opposite of what we were trying to do earlier where we were isolating the pieces. So see, I'm gonna put this circle right here and it's gonna enclose that. Let's duplicate the circle and we're going to close it right there, okay? Grab these three pieces, the black face, the two circles, and you're gonna weld it, okay? So now go to contour. We're gonna hide all. Okay, arrange center to the back just so that this piece will sit on top. Now look, 
any seams that we would have had going through the mouth or the two eyes will now be covered by this piece. So your face is gonna be seamless, okay? It'll be awesome because now we're gonna throw in the eyes. Where are my eyes? Let's zoom out for a second. Oh, here are my eyes. See, it's gonna look seamless. It's gonna look really, really good. And then you put the tongue back in. So, I mean, this covered a little bit, right? But if we had seams here, it would be distracting, but now it won't be. It'll be the perfect Mickey face. He has a beautiful nose that's seamless, right? So I'm recreating it so you can see what he looks like. This piece is gonna go right up against the skin and he's gonna look, all of this is seamless, right? He's going to look amazing. The only thing that we're missing is the black outline. That's gonna be here, it's gonna be tiny with little seams, but it's, it's gonna be less than a quarter of an inch. So you won't even notice it. What you'll notice is his perfectly beautiful face, the red glittery shorts. So you can kinda of see why we were doing that. All right, so we are all done, except for the black background, right? So let's move all of this over for a second. We don't need this anymore. That was my visual cue just to, you know, in case we needed to. So we can delete that. That's our print and cut. All right, so here he is at 30 inches, right? We obviously can't cut this on the Cricut. So what we wanna do is we wanna bring in squares to slice him up into pieces that you can cut. So let's bring in our first square and make it 11 by 11. Now you could make it 11 and a half by 11 and a half, but I hate dealing with half inches. And in this case, he's 24.6, 25 inches. We're gonna need three columns anyway, whether it was 11 or 11 and a half. Because it was 11 and a half plus 11 and a half is 23. He's 24.6, we needed another column anyway, okay? And at 30 inches, we need three rows. So basically, we need nine squares completely flush that we're gonna slice up, okay? So let's build our nine squares. Put the first one here, we're gonna go to the position feature. And we're just gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 13.5 becomes 14, and 4.3 becomes four. So what we're basically saying is for your X coordinate, go over four, uh, 14 units, go down four units, here's the start of our square. We're gonna duplicate it, put it really close, and then round to the nearest whole number. 25.2 becomes 25, four point something becomes four, we're gonna duplicate that one and put this one really close, okay? Then this becomes 36 and four. I'll show you the math behind it as well, okay? So this one started at 14. Our paper is 11 inches, so 14 plus 11 is 25, and here's 25. <laughs> All right, so now let's grab our three squares. So hit the Shift key, grab this square and this square and we're gonna duplicate it because our three squares are already flushed. So now we just need to make it flushed with this one. And we're gonna make that 14 and 15. And we're gonna duplicate that and put this one down here. And I'm just gonna put it here, it doesn't matter. That's already at 14, change this to 26. Now let's go grab Mickey. I can grab him by his tail. Arrange, send to the front. Let's see where we're slicing him up, okay? So I'm gonna move him over a little bit. Um, I'm gonna zoom in so we can see where the seams are gonna be, okay? So there's gonna be a seam coming down here and here. So far, that's fine with me. His tail is sucky because there's gonna be a cut here. But it's okay because if you remember our tail, we have this black tail that's gonna sit on top. So it's gonna be okay, it's gonna hide this seam. What you don't want is something like this. You don't wanna cut it here because that would cut off the tail here and here and here. His tail would be in three pieces, we don't want that. 
So when you're slicing, you just wanna make sure that you're slicing as big of cuts as you can. So like this is pretty good because this tail is here. This seam cuts off a pretty big toe. Let's see if we can move. No, see the toe would be cut off anyway. So let's make it sizable piece. Let's do something like this. So this is gonna cut through right here. That's one piece. This is another piece. This comes down. I think this is pretty good. We're gonna have big pieces, okay? So let's zoom out. Where is my mouse? There it is. Zoom out for a second. Let's look at this. I actually don't think we need these two squares, so we can grab these two and just delete it. All right, so let's start slicing, okay? One square at a time and the image. Okay, and we'll do this. This. We're just slicing all the way around the one square at a time and the image, okay? And then I'm gonna move the images so that you can see what our cut pieces look like. Okay, so ready? So here's our first piece. That's a sizable piece, right? Here's the second piece. And I'm gonna put it really close because I wanna reassemble him so that you can see what he's gonna look like, okay? And I'll show you where all the pieces go. Let me see if that's gonna work. That's enough room. That's not gonna be enough room there, but that's okay. Let's grab all this, we don't need this, and we're just gonna delete it. Let's put him over here. This is a nice big piece right here. And then this piece, okay? And then we'll get rid of all those slice results. Now, I'm just gonna change this really quickly to another color so that you could see what, I'm gonna make it, um, this color, a dark, dark gray, okay? Just so that we can see the difference. All right, so let's, I'm actually gonna grab this whole thing right here. Let's move him over. Oops, hold on. Let's grab all of this and send it to the back, okay? Arrange, send to the back. This is just so that you can see what he's gonna look like when we put him together, okay? So let's put this over here. So this seam, this seam right here is going to be gone because this is going to sit on top. You're not going to see that seam at all. This seam disappears. These seams are also going to disappear because this is going to sit on top. So you see, you're starting to see why we did that. If you did it in black glitter cardstock, that would be different too. So let's put this over here. And I'm gonna zoom in for a second. Oh, hold on, let me move all these pieces over. And then I'm gonna zoom in so you can see where the seams would have been and why it's gonna look amazing. Okay, um, so you're gonna have a little seam right here because right here is the outline. It's gonna run down the face and it's gonna be a break between his um, black ear and hair, I guess, <laughs> with the outline, okay? But it's so tiny, you're not gonna notice it. So here's his gloves. We don't have any seams on the gloves, so that remains seamless. Okay, the pants though, the pants are gonna cover quite a bit. And actually, hold on, let's look at this. So the pants go here, and let's zoom in a little bit more even, so I can see. Um, oh, we don't have any seams coming down. I was gonna say we could do the same thing as the face, but there's no seams there. And that little hole is gonna have this. So this seam right here is gonna not be as noticeable. There's a seam running through, but the pants are right there. Now, uh, let's see. His shoes. 
So his shoes will cover up the seams running right here. There's gonna be a little bit right there. It's tiny, right? And then his leg, there's a seam right there, but this is gonna go right there and cover that whole seam. This tail has a seam right here, but it's gonna be covered by this tail. And remember, we had to shift it, right? Because we needed to make it so that it would it would now cut on one piece of paper. But just know, this, this is one piece, so it's gonna cover that seam. All right, so what else do we have? We have his other leg and his upper body. Oh, we didn't finish, we didn't finish it. So, you needed to create you needed to isolate that black piece here for for this top part and he would look amazing all right let's go to let's save it and hopefully this doesn't delete my project mickey 30 inches with extra black parts so that i can remember the difference Um, oh no, it deleted my project. All right, well, it was at the end anyway. <laughs> so this has happened to me quite a few times since they updated Design Space. What I found is that tomorrow when I go in and I reopen it, it's there. So I'm not too worried, but I'm gonna end the video here and I'm gonna do another one, assuming that you're gonna do black glitter cardstock. It's gonna have less steps than this one, okay? because we're not gonna isolate the black pieces. All right, so I'm gonna say bye. Please post your comments, questions, and if you have any special requests, I ask that when you do a special request, you do two things. You comment in the video or in my post, and then you also send me an email, either with the image, like the file that you wanna use, and then also any details, any extra details. Um, that way I read it in the post, and then I'll have the email to reference it because it's hard for me to find it once I, after I read it. So anyway, all right, thanks guys. Have a great day.